Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. One of the things that inspires me about nature is just how obedient it is to the laws that God has ordained for it. You know, the the sun, you can depend on it to rise in the morning and to set in the evening. You can, the planets orbit the sun in the way that God has established for them to do it. The stars operate in a way that God has ordained. Uh, gravity even works uh, consistently. Uh, the, the creation is just ordered and structured in such a way that uh, it follows these different laws and it's obedient to those laws. And, and this is what makes the universe livable. And it's also what makes science possible. Uh, if, if nature wasn't predictable, we couldn't do science because we would never know what to expect from nature. But because it does follow these laws, these instructions that are embedded in it by our Creator, then we can live, we can operate, we can uh, depend on the sun to rise in the morning, we can depend on gravity to keep us here, uh, our feet planted here on the earth. Uh, it's just a wonderful thing that creation is so obedient to the laws of God. And that's brought out in our reading today. In Jeremiah chapter 5, it says, for I have placed the sand as a boundary for the sea, an eternal decree, so it cannot cross over it. Though the waves toss, yet they cannot prevail. Though they roar, they cannot cross over it. And that's just one aspect of nature. God has created water in such a way that um, it stays contained. And that's true with the seas and the oceans. And if, if that were not true, again, this earth would not be livable because it would just be completely overtaken by water. And and it's obedient to the law of God. The Lord the Lord has says, This is your boundary, and this is as far as you'll go, and that's as far as water goes. And again, that's just one example. Uh, but we see it throughout all creation. Now, why is it that Jeremiah brings this up in Jeremiah chapter five? Well, what Jeremiah does, or the Lord through Jeremiah does, is compare what the people of Judah were doing in comparison to what nature does. The sea is obedient to God. It knows its boundaries. It knows, okay, I, I'm only going to go this far, uh, and that's it. But the people of Judah at the time had rebelled and gone outside of the boundaries of God's law. Uh, that, that same verse, verse 22 that I just read, actually starts like this. It says, Do you not fear me, declares the Lord. Do you not tremble in my presence? And then he brings up this idea of the seas. But then he concludes it or, or continues with the thought in verse 23 where he says, But this people, in comparison to the sea, but this people has a stubborn and rebellious heart. They have turned aside and departed. They do not say in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God who gives rains in its seasons. Um, and he goes on, They don't listen to the Lord. They're, they're rebellious against him. And this is an amazing thing. Everything else in creation obeys God's law. Uh, uh, everything operates the way that it's supposed to operate. But you get to mankind and we are rebellious. We do not listen to God's laws and commandments and, and the things that the instructions that he has laid out for us. But oftentimes we do rebel and we do go against God's law and we transgress. We go beyond the boundaries of what God has set for us. And, and we trespass against uh, those things. And it ought to be that creation can really inspire us to be more obedient to the Lord. Uh, and, and to use creation as an inspiration. You know, a lot of times I'm looking at creation and I'm just amazed at how ordered it is and how structured it is and how it observes these laws. And I myself am oftentimes motivated by that to say, you know what, I want to be like that. I want to be in line with God's law. I want to be in line with God's will just as much as creation is. And I think that's something that perhaps we should all be thinking about. And Jeremiah chapter 5 brings that out. So today, as we do our reading today, let's reflect on that. And let's have it in our hearts to be just as obedient to God and, and to follow in line with the law of God as the rest of creation does. To say, you know what, just as creation doesn't ask questions, the sun doesn't say, you know what, 
I don't know. I'm tired of rising in the morning. Uh, maybe I won't do that this morning. Or I'm, uh, I'm too tired to be to constantly be feeding uh, all this energy. You know, I'm just gonna take a day off, or I'm gonna I'm gonna do something my other, uh, my own way. Or a planet decides, you know, instead of rotating over the sun, I'm just gonna take off in the outer space, out into the deeper parts of the universe. You know, they don't question God. They don't go against God. They just do it without question. And, and I think that's a good adi attitude for us to have as well. Is to say, you know what, I'm not going to question God. I'm not going to um, try to fight against God. If this is what he tells me to do, then I'll just do it. And just go with the flow and, and let it become intuitive to follow God's will as it is with the rest of creation. So these are some things to reflect on, perhaps even put into practice. I do thank you guys for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.